What is up guys, Zach Scott here with a preview of Plants vs. Zombies 2, specifically the Backyard Battleground feature that'll be in the new game. Uh, I don't typically do a lot of preview style videos, so this is the first preview video that I'm doing of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Of course, I'm super excited about it, it's my most anticipated game of 2016. Uh, but I want to tell you guys a little, a little bit about my experience playing Backyard Battleground. And uh, this is a, a feature that's very central to the core of the Garden Warfare 2 experience. I got invited to an EA PopCap event in San Francisco uh, over the, the past few days. And I, I, I got to play it. I got a hands-on experience with Backyard Battleground. And I'm going to tell you all about it. Uh, I, I don't have any footage right now to show you guys that I captured, uh, but I'll be talking over the trailer, uh, kind of going through it piece by piece, showcasing things that I noticed, and uh, also some uh, some other gameplay footage uh, that was not captured by me. Uh, so let's get into it right now. Let's roll the trailer, and I'll kind of give uh, my guided reactions. Okay, so this is a uh, little trailer slash sneak peek for Backyard Battleground, and it's actually, uh, there's a voiceover by Jeremy Van Hooser, a senior creative director at PopCap, and uh, he explains uh, all the new features, uh, but I want to do it, so so <laughs> so you'll hear my voice instead of his, and uh, already it's going really fast. I'm going to be leveraging the pause feature of this video to showcase some really cool things, and uh, I'll take my time with it. I'll take my time, tell you about my experiences playing Backyard Battleground and all that stuff. Uh, so the first step for me is going to be <laughs> to, uh, to uh, take a step back, rewind, redo, and we'll talk about it. Uh, first off, the things uh, the things that you might notice here is that oftentimes in this they're playing as some of the new characters. That right there is uh, is Colonel Corn. And again, since I haven't made any like preview videos on my channel, you might you might not know about Colonel Corn. But there are like six brand new characters, uh, fourteen classes total now, uh, six new classes and um, several new characters really. So basically this Colonel Corn is its own class and then there's several different characters of Colonel Corn, uh, various different characters, different forms. Uh, so six new classes is the appropriate terminology. This is Colonel Corn. Uh, he has a really cool ability uh, right there that you see the butter in the lower right hand corner. That's kind of like a butter airstrike. Uh, in, the, in the right hand side he has kind of like this corn missile that he shoots out. And, uh, and I don't remember what a lot of these things are officially called, uh, but uh, he also in the middle has an aerial maneuver that he kind of just like jumps over and machine guns downwards, basically. And uh, Colonel Corn is, is the assault class. Let's go ahead and um, move on. He's very similar and analogous uh, to the foot soldier class uh, for the zombies. But anyway, let's move on. And uh, we're gonna get some more footage in here. Now this is cool. This is really cool. This is... Uh, Basically, the whole premise b behind Backyard Battleground, and I'll, I'll have plenty of time to describe this. Uh, basically, there are two sides to the map. One, a plant home base, and the other side, a zombie home base. And in the middle, there's a flag you can raise to kind of trigger an escalation of forces, of AI forces to fight against. And uh, if you do well enough, you'll get like a boss round. These are two of the new bosses. Now, uh, these guys are cool. Uh, it's like a torch wood and laser bean. Uh, very, very cool to see them in this form uh, as bosses uh, in this video. And so uh, this character right here is actually uh, Captain Deadbeard, uh, who, who has a drone right there in the middle uh, that he can use. He also has a cannon that he can use, and he can also go inside a barrel and explode. Uh, those are his abilities right there. And now the drone is very, very similar to the engineer's drone. In fact, the engineer's drone is, uh, as far as I know, has been replaced with a new ability that he kind of gets in like a turret and shoots. So the engineer, as far as I know, again, I haven't seen like the final copy of the game, of course, uh, but as far as I know, the engineer no longer has the drone. The drone ability is now belongs to Captain the Captain Deadbeard class, and it's a parrot, and it's really cool. And so anyway, just want to show you that. Uh, I don't want to miss out on too much stuff. I know it's possible. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. In this video it's all going by very quickly um, basically this is showcasing several clips one thing I want to point out here crazy Dave and Zomboss are no longer two-dimensional figures uh, they have uh, like a, a full 3d representation as you can see right there 
and uh, that I, I believe that makes them fit into the game a little bit better. They look a lot more uh, active in the game, and they're not just like 2D representations of themselves like you see in Plants vs. Zombies 2. So anyway, continuing onward, uh, look at this, look at this, it's huge in scope, just take in the scope right here. The left side, we see the plant's home base, uh, the right side, we see the zombie's home base, in the middle is that backyard battleground stuff that we're talking about, it's really cool, uh, so, um, and there's a lot of other stuff to touch on here. Uh, I don't remember what some of the stuff is, but here, let's just go ahead and explore. Um, as you can see, this is the plant space that they're going to right now. Uh, this is footage right here. There's split screen stuff going on as well. I, I'm, I'm basically just commenting exactly what I'm seeing right now. Uh, these little guys right now, um, you know in the original Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, uh, the zombies had reinforcements. You see those here. Well, now the plants also have reinforcements. And you can see like they're, they're in, some of the plants are in pots, some of them are in vases. And uh, it looks like the, the plant and zombie reinforcements are fighting against each other in that clip right there. And um, so anyway, during, you know, there it is. There's the, there's the parrot that belongs to Captain Deadbeard. There it is. You can see a little clip of, of that right there. And uh, this, I mean, these are all going so fast. This is an overhead map. He's showing you something here uh, that is really kind of interesting. And I actually got to go over here and uh, actually, I think it was my friend, uh, well, my new friend, <laughs> my new friend, uh, Nukem Dukem. I met some cool people here. I met Nukem Dukem, I met uh, Strange Love, and I met Moonlight Wolf. And you guys probably know uh, the, the later two, at least, uh, because they make a lot of Plants vs. Zombies content. Uh, let's take a step back here. There was something really cool that I wanted to show you, and it's going to be hard to focus in. Uh, but check this out. I can get it. Look, there it is. There it is. See, it's like EA Sports, but it's PEA Sports, so P Sports. That's really cool. Um, <laughs> Nukem Dukem noticed that. He was standing over it for a while, and he was laughing because he was pointing that out. And uh, anyway, um, you have um, different chests all around the map that you can pick up. This is where it's really focusing in uh, on uh, some of the alternate features in this world. This, this whole thing, and I'm pausing it so I can have more time to talk. This whole thing <laughs> is basically like... Um, they likened it to uh, how Destiny has a, a tower. It's not the same, obviously, but it's kind of a social space for you to gather. And um, gone is a lot of the menu system aspects of the Garden Warfare game. A lot of the, the things are pulled up directly in the game at various spots. This spot that they're talking about right here is kind of a target practice uh, that you can do. Uh, shooting little gnome targets and stuff, and you can get your name on leaderboards. Uh, you can rank up. Uh, if you want to go into the backyard battleground portion, you can you can zoom in here and fight, raise the flag and fight. You get more powers. And look, oh, there's something I missed. Hold on, let's take a quick step back there. Uh, look, I was talking about the 3D representations. There's a 3D representation right there of Zomboss. Really cool stuff. And um, so then you know you fight AIs. Uh, you could put down, uh, you know, little... Well, you know how the plants have potted plants? Well, now the zombies have, like, potted drones, basically. Uh, this is the plant space. I think it's hilarious that the zombies are allowed to advertise in the plant space. Uh, but what you would what you would want to do if you want to switch characters, uh, you can go up um, to these little recruitment things and switch sides. So you could, you could switch sides easily uh, through this way. There is a way to quickly do it as well. Um, but this, uh, let's keep moving on. And so, yeah, you can switch to, uh, the, the, there's like the one 2D representation right there of the zombies is in that, in that, that area, but that's like artwork and stuff. So anyway, uh, this is the multiplayer portal. I don't know what all the gnome stuff is all about. There's a lot of like gnome features talked about, not talked about, but displayed right here. I don't know what all the gnome stuff is about. I see it. I, I see it a lot in the backyard battleground. I don't exactly know what it all means and how it all comes together, uh, but this, if you want to play multiplayer, you go to this multiplayer portal, you can uh, set up your game here, so there is still a little bit of a, of a menu system. This, okay, this is the plant, and well, and the zombies have one on their side too, but this is how you customize your character. You go to that little, uh, that little, well here, let's take a step back. You go, uh, you go right here, and um, you customize your character. You can customize the abilities. Uh, you could take a look uh, look at all these look at all these things that you know Everything that you know and love about customizing plants vs. Zombies is right here 
and uh, you can customize your, your old characters, your new characters, all that stuff, just like you normally do. And um, w one thing that I, th let's see, where is this? Okay, man, there's a lot to get to. It's hard to talk about this when you don't have, you know, you're not able to, to navigate yourself. So I'm just basing off this trailer. This is really cool. Uh, there's like this giant tree in the middle. He's approaching it now. Uh, they're walking past this bulletin board. Uh, th they'll probably talk about it in just a second, but this bulletin board is how you pick up quests. Uh, very similar to uh, how bounties work in Destiny. Uh, there are things that you can do to gain extra experience and level up your characters. Uh, this right here uh, just kind of shows your stats. You can check in on your, on your stats, but this is one of the coolest features coming up. Look at this. Hold on. I, I, I was talking. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. Uh, but like I was talking, uh, the spawnable plants now, instead of just potted plants, uh, you have you have reinforcements. You have like a weed, pumpkin weed, terracotta weed, dandelion, leaf shield weed, wood shield weed, vase weed, porcelain vase weed, heel weed, and flag weed. So these function as reinforcements um, right there, and th I think that's just a really cool feature. Um, you can look at all of your characters, you know, just like you normally do. This, oh my God, this is really cool. This. Um, these are little bobbleheads. Well, they're not. These aren't bobbleheads. These are just little mi mini figs, basically, uh, mini potted plants, very similar to a Zen Garden in Plants vs Zombies 2, of er all the characters that you've unlocked. All the like they're divided by class. Then all the characters you've unlocked are right here in cute little form, and you can go check them out. I don't know what all these are called, but maybe if you look, you can get some ideas on what um, you know. They look like a mafia style guy right there. Um, there's a lot of cool things right here, and uh, this is probably one of my one of the coolest things that I saw there in San Francisco uh, is is how these collections are, are displayed. They look very cool, and you can look at your individual stats um, and uh, by by clicking on them. Now, one thing they're talking about here, they're talking about promotions right now, and promotions basically once you hit level 10, you can promote your 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 classes or your characters. Um, to a to like a new status basically, and so this little screen right here is saying promoting when we set your kernel coin to level one, you will be rewarded with a new title and character plaque. And so basically, they go through different phases. And um, this example, they're going from beginner to specialist. And I don't know all the phases, but uh, basically, what this does is uh, this now shows up, and when you vanquish someone, uh, it'll tell them it'll say, "Hey, you were vanquished by specialist or whatever." Um, so right now uh, we're seeing more gameplay. There it is. There, yeah, that's what that's what they're talking about. So uh, it shows like specialist right there. This is the quest board. You can pick up quests very similar to uh, Destiny, and that was fast. Hold on, let's take a step back then. Um, if we want to take a look, these are like the different. You have plant quests, zombie quest, and multiplayer quest. Some of the quests can be uh, completed uh, right here in backyard battleground, including including things like grow five pot plants. Um, all that stuff. So, uh, very cool. Basically, you'll get XP multipliers. Each quest rewards like pins. You get XP multipliers, and you can get coins and stars and stuff. Um, I don't know if this. Let, let's just let's move forward with this now. That was done quickly. Stickers. The sticker shop now is located right here in in a vending machine on both sides. It's showcasing the plant side right now, but it's on both sides. Um, what else? Okay, this is cool. These little portals. And uh, the zombies will have an analog, but these little portals right there, um, and there's the Dave Bot 3000. <laughs> oh, we're going fast. These little portals take you to like the layers or the dimensions or whatever of the new characters, including the Citron, the Rose, and the Colonel Corn. Uh, same thing for the zombie side, but that's Imp and, and Z Mech, uh, the Captain Deadbeard, and Super Brains. And basically, these characters uh, will give you quests. You can unlock new secrets, discover new things. Uh, it's very cool. So you would go talk to Rose in this case. And she would uh, uh, give you new quests, um, and so that's that's really cool. That's, that's in addition to the quest leaderboard here. This is showing more gameplay um, of the whole area, and uh, basically, you know, if you want to go in the middle and fight, you can do so. Enter the cannon, go over there, fight, escalate the situation, uh, get new, get new, uh, level up your characters, get new uh, little gear, build bots, all that stuff. Build bots of your zombies, rather. So uh, this is just kind of a cool little showcase right there, and um, it, the game, of course, is going to be on Xbox One. It's recycling now. It's playing it over again. The game's going to be on Xbox One, PC, and PS4. Uh, so uh, let's go into some gameplay footage. 
that I have, and I'll do my best to commentate live over that. We're gonna have, um, we're gonna have, uh, you, you know, we're gonna hear hear sound from the game. It's really cool. Uh, let's do it. All right, this is the uh, footage that PopCap gave me to commentate over. This is not my own gameplay. This is likely a developer's gameplay uh, or a combination of developer's gameplay. Uh, but right now, uh, what's going on is they're going through some of the scientists and they're choosing a new uh, legendary character here. It's the computer scientist. Now, the computer scientist actually has kind of like a superpower that's activated. Right now, you see we're in the zombies, uh, the zombies base and uh, there is a quest board uh, they're gonna go ahead and grab of like three quests here that will be suitable to complete uh, during the back the, the backyard battleground phase and then uh, he's gonna leave here walk out see there's the portal the multiplayer portal right there there's a split screen on the right there's the character customization right there on the left and uh, the scientist is going to go into the cannon to shoot out directly into the backyard battleground portion. He's gonna raise the flag, which increases the strength of the zombies, makes them very powerful, and uh, Zomboss says invincible, not quite, uh, but they're gonna go up against a bunch of different plant-based uh, AI. The, the, uh, the scientist right now is uh, building bots, which are the equivalent of the, the, the plants, the potted plants, and right now, uh, he's going up against uh, some plant reinforcements, with, which are very similar uh, to the zombie reinforcements. Now, what just happened is crunch mode got activated. That's a super of this particular legendary class. It's a super ability uh, that is that that is specific to that class, and uh, it looks like it skipped ahead in time a little bit. He got healed by a healing bot. He's still fighting against plant reinforcements. Um, and he has, uh, looks like maybe an AI friend with him. I don't know. I think that's an AI friend. The we when the we you know, it basically, it's kind of like Garden Ops mode in, in the way that, like, different waves come out and uh, different AI types come out for each wave. So this next wave coming out is going to be Sunflowers coming out, and hopefully the zombies can defend against that. Now, uh, one thing that you might see, there it is, a healing beam. That's a new scientist uh, ability type. Uh, he still has the, um, oh, I'm forgetting what they're called right now, but basically the, the healing beacons. He still has those, but if you want to use a beam, you can do that too. Uh, now this is a the new Imp and Z-Mech. I believe this is particularly the uh, the Mass Effect. Yeah, this is the Mass Effect mech that's available, I think, with the pre-order. I hope I'm not wrong on anything, and you can see some Colonel Corns out there right there that he's shooting. That's like a mob-based Colonel Corn. That's regular, and he just he's decimating the field. Of course, they have a damage boost. Uh, because of the fact that the flag is raised. They collect coins. He's getting healed by that bot. Look at how high his health is. The next wave looks like it's going to be Citrons. I don't know if we get to see that, though. He's going to build a bot. Um, I know there's some footage here. He ejects from his uh, mech. It explodes, dealing uh, damage around that explosion. And uh, he has a bunch of... The, the imp has a bunch of really cool uh, maneuvers and things like that. Now, right now, they're showing footage of... A bunch of devs on one team. This particular dev is playing as as Rose, which is pretty cool. And um, basically, um, this is let's see what what is going on right now. Well, the Rose has a, a bunch of really cool abilities, including um, you know just shooting shooting like that regularly, but also a goat transformation ability, as well as kind of like a time slowdown ability. It looks like she threw out the goat transformation, but it's possible the zombie died before it got activated. The other ability here is Arcane Enigma, which is very similar uh, to how the scientist uh, works with the uh, with the little teleportation that you you know he can be like pure energy. The the rose right there became pure energy energy and was able to move around quite well. Now these little crates will show up uh, occasionally, and you can get coins from these as well as other goodies. Uh, I believe coins pop out of this one. Yeah, I watched this before in case you didn't know. <laughs> anyway, well, that's about it. That about wraps it up. Thanks for watching my commentary uh, over this gameplay. I'm about to, uh, I'll, do, I'll do a little post commentary over the trailer again just to kind of sum things up. Uh, but let's finish this out. And oh, watch out for the airstrike. <laughs> let's finish this out. They're fighting a gargantua right there. Really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. I had a lot of fun uh, trying this mode out. This backyard battleground mode. Very cool. There we go. Boss is defeated again. 
Alright, well thanks so much for watching me play a little bit of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2, the Backyard Battleground feature. Now, uh, one thing I want to say uh, before ending the video is that, you know, initially I asked some of the developers, you know, why a sequel? Why not more, why not more, you know, DLC for the original? And obviously I understand the desire to make a sequel to make something fresh, but I was just curious, uh, you know, what determined that. And uh, playing this, I can definitely see that is definitely, definitely a proper sequel. It's not just an update or expansion. It is like rebuilt. It's a sequel. It's awesome. The Backyard Battleground is defi definitely like center stage, instrumental to this, an all new feature. Uh, I mean, we don't have just all new classes. We have like all new, you know, base gameplay. And it's such a cool thing. And I'm, I'm so glad that it's here. And uh, anyway, uh, if you want to subscribe to me, please do so. Follow me on various social networks. I'm, I'm at Zach Scott on Twitter. And uh, you'll be able to see my Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare gameplay, as well as my upcoming Plants vs. Z uh, Zombies Garden Warfare 2 gameplay. Pre-order the game for yourself. Get some cool custom things. And one more thing I want to tell you is if you haven't leveled your character in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare up to rank 313, that's 313, do so because I hear there are some awesome surprises coming. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed my impressions. And, uh, you know, I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a reviewer. I'm not a journalist or whatever. But everyone has an opinion. And my opinion is that Backyard Battleground, this particular feature of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2, having played it myself, is awesome and very central and important and key to the series. Thanks so much for watching. See you around. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott, subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching, check out more of my videos, and if you want to find me on your favorite social network, check the links in the description. And here's Otto. <laughs> That's Egon. Those are my cats.